the ass bucket. I asked her to make me one that said feed me more. <laughs> Oh, my life is amazing. Feeding time. Feed me more. Yo, welcome to feeding time, Rybackers. I am the big guy, Ryback. Uh, getting ready to go do a big, uh, big arm workout and burpees today. Some traps. Get freaking jacked. And I decided to swing by Vegano's for lunch today. I'm doing uh, two wet asada burritos. These are full vegan. And wet is with the sauce and the cheese on the outside. The vegan cheese on that plant-based cheese, whatever you want to uh, call it. I got also, this is, uh, they got the loser food tray here. What a loser! and uh that i will be using and i got the feed me more nutrition food trays orders in those will be added uh, to the feedmemore.com website i'm actually going to be doing a lot more uh cool giveaways so if you guys if this is actually will be very helpful for me for my business as i continue i've found um and i like to be very transparent that especially with COVID and keeping sales and continue to grow but giving you guys tremendous value not only with the supplements but with free add-ons I got workout wrist straps we're going to be doing with the Hungry Feed Me More Nutrition logo on them. Uh, and I would be curious to see what other little gym accessories. We got gym bags coming, which those will be, uh, those are more expensive items. But we will be doing things with tiers and spend a certain amount and get a free gym bag on that um, as well. And in some combination packs as well with like the water bottles and jugs and things. I got the face mask, got new white face mask being ordered. We got new colored towels coming in. Let me know though, accessory wise, what you guys, uh, what would what would appeal to you guys because the, you're the customers uh, or a portion of the customers, I should say, and it helps me um, do cool add-ons for every month doing something different and uh, and you know trying to give you guys something more with your orders to say thank you. All right, it's feeding time. Hope everyone's doing well. Oh boy, this could be dangerous. This is, we got beans, rice, the sauce, tomato. Mm. Oh damn. I'm a little worried on this. This is uh, somebody walking by. I'm in a bad area. I always lock the doors. Somebody, give me your car. I'm doing a food review. Shoots me. Um, I will say, it's not a drawback necessarily. I mean, because we're meant to actually do this. When you switch to the, the, the plant-based diet, especially kind of the, the quantity that I eat, you go to the bathroom a lot more. And like this is, I have a feeling, the quantity of this. I'm hoping, hoping I can make it through the whole workout. There's nothing worse, especially gym bathrooms. There's some weirdos that hang out in there. Looking through that little crack in the stall. That right back taking a dump. But uh, it's, uh, it is a very real thing. But I do think, too, that depends on the quantity that you eat. Like, I, I'm a beast. <laughs> like, it's what I do. I eat large amounts of food. It's not like I'm just having one of these, too. I got two of them. I'm a little pig. And I'm having trouble eating this. I'm going to hold up to my face. I'm uh, doing the Vicky Guerrero podcast this week. Super pumped to do that. I 
A lot of hate this week on social media, and especially, particularly Twitter. Go figure. I always look out. There's always an opportunity to practice love and gratitude, you know? It's not always easy. I've had a lot of practice, though. Someone brought up a good point. Multiple people, actually. That there's a lot of, like, it seems to be, like, bot accounts. That, and I've even saw, there was one I had to report it. There was a bot account, no followers, has the numbers with it, and this chick claiming that I was stalking her. And then she has conversation, you know, people can just adjust and put the, the big guy and then at Ryback. back. And it was such horrible dialogue that I, I go, okay, thank God that that's like clear as day. It's like, oh, I met him in, in Walmart and he was super cute at first. <laughs> and then, then he started bullying and harassing me. And I'm just like, it's, it's, she said, please help Ryback stalking me. And I was like, good luck with that. But that's what we're dealing with now. And there's a lot of that, but not the, like that, the bots, so these negative comments. And you're just like, what? Who are you, Randy? 00769 1014 Cena Orton lover. Like, it's really odd things. And then they'll leave a really vicious negative tweet or just an outright lie. And you're like, what? My buddy messaged me. He goes, dude, he goes, have you seen like all these bot accounts with negative comments? I go, yeah. It's beyond me. I just keep doing my thing. Ah! No. Oh, so this is not the easiest to eat. It's very good, though. I'm almost wondering. I should save that second one for my post-workout meal with some other stuff, some other vegetable, and a little bit extra protein because this is, uh, I think one of these before going to the gym, especially with burpees. Burpees is kind of what I have in my head. Bouncing around, jumping around. You don't want to, that's just going to make me want to go to the bathroom even more. This girl I know, she was telling me about how much she poops. And great conversations I have with people. And she tells me she goes legitimately eight to nine times a day, which I was, she's not even vegan. And I go, whoa, you would not do well on a vegan diet probably if you're going to the bathroom that much eating a ton of meat. And she, she told me she has an, uh, an ass bucket though and she washes her ass. And I, I go, what do you mean an ass bucket? Like I've never heard of it. Like I've heard of people have the bidets and things. You know, people use wet wipes and toilet paper. <coughs> I go, ass bucket. And uh, <clears throat> she goes, yeah, I, I, I go, like, what, what, what do you, you have like a, like a cloth in there? Like, what do you, I mean, like, how does that work? Like, are you putting like a, a, a poop cloth back in the, the ass bucket? And leaving it into like a reusing or do you have a stack of like cheap cloths like I don't I don't this was all this is news to me like I, I this was a lesson a, 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 sitting under the learning tree here for the ass bucket she goes no I use my hand and I go your hand like you like so you got this bucket of soapy water by your toilet and I and, and I, she wipes first with toilet paper and then goes to the ass bucket. But I go, even then, I go, still though. I go, like, you're just like rubbing like poop all over your hands. And she's like, it's just the same as in the shower, like when you wash it. And I'm just like, I go, like, no, you could use like, like cloths for that or like the little, little scrubby things. Like there's, like you don't necessarily like have to use your hand. I mean, we're not living like in the caveman days where you're out in the lake, 
you know, splashing water in your ass, whatever the hell you're doing with your herbs, rubbing herbs on your ass to, to potpourri, however they did it or not. Very fascinating though, very fascinating. The ass bucket. I asked her to make me one that said feed me more on it. <laughs> oh, my life is amazing. What an amazing life. Hit me up in the comments, though, if you're familiar with the old ass bucket. Because I'm not. Definitely only eating one of these today. I'll eat the second one after with my, my performance meal. I'll actually mix it all in. It'll be really good. And I gotta piss like a horse. Cleaned up here. <sighs> Done. All right, that was the Veganos Classic Burrito Wet Style. It was $10.99 for the burrito and $1.75 upgrade to like, in, it's like enchilada style. They call it wet. That's what she said. The, uh, with the, the sauce and the cheese on top. Um, I've had other burritos here with them, and they're all very, very good. This was definitely harder to eat because I can't hold it like a regular burrito and uh, in the car. But I didn't I didn't make? Well, I did get a little bit of sauce on my pants. That's a win though for this. That's that's definitely a win. Um, it was very good, but it felt I don't know a little spicy too. I feel like it. That was like a 9.3. Very good, but I, I, it missing a little something, something. And I don't know what that was that could have been in it. That, But it was very good, nonetheless. And it come, comes with a side of chips and salsa, if you want, also, uh, with that. So uh, that's Vegano's Mexican Food uh, Kitchen up here off of Cheyenne and Rancho. If uh, you want to, you know, swing over and uh, check them out at any time, so... Other than that, guys, that's it. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show, and The Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.